Well, I'm Bob Inglis, and I'm uh, running for re-election to Congress from Spartanburg, Greenville, Union, a little bit of Lawrence County, the 4th District of South Carolina. And um, my, my, my uh, hope is this, that, um, that uh, we can begin to solve some of the big challenges that we face as Americans. Um, uh, we've got a financial uh, market uh, question right now. Um, beyond that, we've got this uh, pressing challenge of energy. Um, which is also an exciting opportunity. Um, we've got uh, some challenges with immigration that I think we can solve. And then we've got the really big, hard thing to solve, which is health care. Um, so those, uh, those challenges are before us. I think the key is uh, coming together as Americans and realizing that um, it's not so much whether my tribe or the Democrats' tribe wins. It's rather whether America can win. And so... That's what, uh, that's what I hope to do if I get the opportunity to go back to Washington for another two years. What do you want to change about the way the federal government raises and spends its money? Well, on the uh, raising side, I'd love to see a, a significant change to the tax code. Um, I think that it makes sense to uh, do a flat tax or a sales tax uh, instead of the complex tax code we've got. Um, I think people are sort of tired of hearing about that, though, because they think, gee, it's never going to happen. Um, so it does take uh, an amazing amount of consensus to develop in order to make such a significant change. So that's on the revenue side. I'd like to see a, a significant change to the tax code. On the spending side, I think what we've got to do is is uh, realize that we've got to do something about entitlement spending. There's a lot of focus, as there was in the presidential debate between uh, John McCain and Senator Obama, about uh, earmarks, and of course, uh, we do need earmark reform. But as I think as George Will said afterwards, if you're not talking Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security, you're not talking about balancing the federal budget. Um, and so on the spending side, we've got to deal with those entitlements. Um, I just signed on to a bill this week, in fact, uh, that hopefully will move in the next Congress that means test Medicare Part D, um, saving a substantial amount of money. Um, and basically making it so if you got means, uh, you don't get so much out of Medicare Part D. Um, and uh, I think we need to do the same thing with Social Security. And if you're t doing that, you're talking significant change in the uh, spending patterns of the federal government. All right. uh, you voted for the bailout bill yesterday. Yeah. What does the government need to do about this fiscal crisis? Well, uh, what the government needs to do, I think, immediately is um, figure out a way to bring some stability to the markets. Um, and uh, none of us like it. But by buying these troubled assets, I think that we can bring some calm to the markets. Um, and, you know, when, when you have people that you trust telling you that really there's a substantial chance of a serious recession or even a depression, um, I think that means we got to act. Um, and, you know, um, if you think about it, even during the Great Depression, if you had the capacity to buy and hold, um, you really could come out of the Great Depression pretty well off. Um, and that's essentially what the government is doing here, is stepping in to perhaps buy assets at a fire sale price, um, hold them, earn the interest off of them, and then sell them as the market recovers. Um, so we may end up making a little bit of money off of this. Um, it's, uh, and, and in the process, stabilizing the markets. So I think that's what we need to do to, to act and, uh, and get, this, uh, get some solution working so that the markets can feel some calm. What do you want to do about uh, immigration? Um, immigration is actually, the, the, I think, the simplest problem we face. It is really not rocket science. All it takes is coming together as Americans and saying, let's, let's just stop this, this rhetorical game of raising money and dividing Americans. Let's just solve this thing. And it's really just five things. One, tighten up the border. Um, two, e-verify require employers to check social security numbers before they offer jobs. Three, limit uh, social benefits to citizens. Four, um, 
uh, tighten up driver's licenses and license tags. I've ridden along, for example, with the police here in Spartanburg, and they've taken me to places, and they said, see all the North Carolina tags? Uh, they're illegal folks around here. Uh, North Carolina has fairly loose driver's licenses and license tags. South Carolina is pretty tight. Uh, those four things don't create much controversy. Most people are for those. Some liberals don't like that number three about uh, uh, limiting c- benefits to citizens, but I think it's sort of obvious. The fifth one's where the controversy is, and that is what do you do with the 12 million that are here? Um, here's what I'd propose, a series of consequences for the bad behavior um, that uh, starts with this. Um, you came here illegally. Uh, you're in violation of our law. Um, you need to pay a fine If you do and come out of the shadows, we'll give you this temporary right to be here. And it is very temporary, not the indefinite Z visa of the Senate bill, but rather a temporary stay, 18 months maybe. Um, Now, after that, you want a green card? Well, we're open to that. We're Americans. Um, We believe in immigration here, legal immigration. Um, So you want a green card? Go home to your home country pay in another additional fine, prove proficiency in English, and uh, here's a green card for you. After that, you want to be a citizen? Well, we're open to that, too, because we're Americans, and we're out of many one. We really believe that. So uh, it's just you had to wait at the back of the line. Since you came here, your first act was an illegal act. You're going to have to wait at the back of the line. It's going to take 8 to 13 years for us to clear the backlog, and uh, at that point, you could be a citizen. Um, so um, I think that's a series of consequences for the bad behavior. Some people describe that as amnesty because they say that anything other than enforcing uh, current law to the letter, which is, would basically result in they must leave and they may never return. Um, is that, that's some people describe any, anything off of that as amnesty. But I think that... Um, you know, uh, that what I've just described is in those five things is a series of steps... Um, and that fifth one has some consequences for the wrong behavior and uh, can get us to a solution. But it really is the simplest issue we face, unlike health care, for example, which is the most complicated issue we face.